Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Rise and shine. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. We thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's Wednesday morning. Once again, my friend, middle part of the week, some call it hump day. But it is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us for Bible study. Good morning, Miss Jacqueline Payton. Good morning, Miss Teresa Mormon. And again, we thank you so much. God bless you and your neighbors and your friends. Good morning, Sonora Little John. Thank you for joining us today. Amen. Come on, tell your neighbors and tell your friends. Pastor Bridges is on again. We're going to have a Holy Ghost good time this morning. Uh, again, we thank you so much. Hey, good morning, uh, Brother Bruce DeWalt, all the way from Alabama. Good morning, my friend and brother. Hope all is well with you. Amen. I, I'm so proud of what you're doing. Amen. Good morning to Miss Tabitha Little John, uh, Trustee Bonner. Amen. So glad to have you. Amen. With us. Karen from the Burke Patrick, my friend and classmate. God bless you, Miss Minnie Henderson. Amen. Miss Minnie might be in Florida. She might be in Connecticut. She's all over the East Coast. We thank God for her. Good morning, Miss Sharon Leach. Trustee Leonard Hui, Miss Barbara Peter, uh, Miss Ernestine Norris, good morning. Nikki Elmore, good morning. Miss Danielle Neal, how you feel all the way in New York City? Amen. We got people from Gaffney, South Carolina, and North Carolina, all over the country checking in. Y'all check in. If you if you come in, I can see who you are, and, and uh, God bless you. Please do that if you can. Danielle Neal, how you feel? Uh, Ms. Tamika Winberg, good morning. Amen. Anthony, Fred, Huey, Wilson, Obama, good morning, my friend. Trustee Anthony. Uh, Mr. Jenkins, good morning to you, Mr. Lawrence, Ms. Keisha, good morning. Glad to have you on board. God bless you. Miss Davis, Miss Gloria Davis, God bless you. And good morning, Miss Jackie Payton, Miss Nancy Knuckles. Oh, we're glad you're out of the hospital, Miss Knuckles. So glad you're out. Hope you're feeling well. Oh, yes, y'all are on the bus. Miss Patricia Harris, good morning to you. Cuz, glad to have you with us. Aunt Dot is on the spot. Uncle Robert is on the scene. You know what I mean. There they are on the bus. I'm trying to get myself together over here. We're glad again as we uh, greet each other. I want to encourage you uh, to tell your neighbors and tell your friends that Pastor Bridges is on again. Good morning Miss Chavette and uh, again we're glad you. Minister Graham is on the scene. Amen. Alethea. Good morning cuz. Vernon Ray Ray. Leach is with us. Well I'm telling you we have uh, uh, God's greatest uh, people on with us today. Wow, what a bus load of believers. And I'm so happy to be affiliated with you today. Come on. We're going to have a Holy Ghost good time today. Come on. I got to get the horn ready. I got to blow the horn. I ain't even blow the horn yet. Y'all know that? Well, here we go. Come on. Tell everybody, come on. Shandrea, what's up? Glad to have you with us. So thankful for your presence. Linda Gray, good morning all the way in North Carolina. Amen. Uh, many, Miss, oh, okay. Be, back in Gaffney in October. All right, Miss Henderson, Miss Arilla, good morning to you. Amen. So thankful for you, Miss Mary Wittenberg and the Reverend Dewey Wittenberg, the legend himself. God bless all of you. Amen. Linda Falu Hui, Charles Henry Ferguson Jones on the bus. Come on. I got one more bus on. Come on, come on, tell them, grab the coat. But come on. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to pray. Come on. Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you for allowing us to uh, see another day. We thank you, God, for your holy and divine presence. We thank you, God, for the excitement of the believer today. And God, I pray as we study your word that you will bless us and you will ride with us. Father, I pray that you will open our eyes to see and now touch our ears to hear. God, touch our hearts to believe. Thank you for every man, woman, boy, and girl 
Uh, and God, we thank you for our youth today who are studying with us today. God, some of them are out on school break. And God, some of them are getting ready to go back into school on this all year round school. But God, in your own unique way, God, help us to grow in grace. Without you, we can't do nothing. But with you, all things are possible. Help us to grow in grace. Bless uh, your hearers. And so that we will not only be hearers, God, we'll be doers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Huh? Did y'all say amen? Uh, that's all I want to know. Did you say amen? Tanner, did you say amen? Good morning to you, Brother Wright. Good morning to you, brother. Miss Mary Thomas, good morning to you. Oh, man, I'm so happy. All of y'all are with us today. We're going to have a Holy Ghost good time. Let me crank up the bus. Now it's time to crank up the bus, and we're going to get rolling in. Well, let me crank up this bus here. All right. I need y'all to meet me in Job. Job chapter 21 and verse 3. Job chapter 21 and verse 3. I need you to come on. The bus is moving. Y'all sit down. Sit down. The bus is moving. Job 21 verse 3. Thank you so very much. Here in the book of Job, we've been studying about him, about how he has had tragedy, how he came into, uh, first introduced uh, with triumph because he was so blessed of God and Highly favored among men. He, uh, uh, the devil talked to God about bothering him. And uh, the, the God allowed him to. He said, have you considered my servant, Job? Uh, Miss Tammy, glad to have you with us this morning. And after a series of events, Job lost all of his possessions. He lost his wealth, man, his livestock, his uh, servants. And uh, last of all, he lost his family due to a storm. And there was a witness that came to him and told him he lost everything. But God, amen, uh, give it and the Lord take it away. After that, Job uh, was again attacked by the devil. The devil uh, began to attack his body and his health and everything. And he got so sick. And his friends had come to visit him. And his friends didn't even recognize him. For seven days, they sat there and mourned with him. And grieved with him. And then after those seven days they began to speak. They began to uh, uh, criticize and to give their opinion on what they thought had happened. But sometimes everybody don't know the whole story. Amen. And I want to suggest and recommend to some and uh, to suggest to others. Amen. That when you don't know, amen, don't act like you know. Amen. Just pray about it and, and let God reveal in his own time. Amen. That's what Elder Bart said. It will all be revealed in time. Amen. Amen. And that's what it's all about. Give God time to work. Wait on the Lord. And he will strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Minister May Francis, glad to have you with us. Miss Linda Boyce, we thank you for making uh, this Bible study your choice. Amen. Today, trusty Norris, glad to have you with us. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to read, amen. Now we find ourselves, we said that uh, 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 Eliphaz told uh, Job that uh, because he had sinned, all of these things happened to him. Bildad said, because your children have sinned, all of these things happened to you. And number three, amen, Zophar said that God was not harsh enough on him. That God should have been more harsh on him, amen, and that he needed to repent and get right with God. Amen. That's where we pick up here in, in Job, amen, chapter 21 and verse 3. I need everybody. Let's read this verse together. Amen. Ready? And let's read. It says, Suffer me that I may speak. And after that I have spoken, mark on. Amen. And, 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 and sometimes you, you just want a chance to say something. Amen. They won't give you a chance. They always uh, 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 shushing you, uh, 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 over talking you, and and are not giving you an opportunity to uh, uh, voice your opinion. Have you ever just seemed like uh, you you never had a chance to say anything? That's how Job fell because they were coming at him right and left. Again, these friends were there for three days, for seven days. They said nothing, but now all of a sudden they unloading on Job, and Job said, "Give me a break." 
I, 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 I'm going to allow you, allow, allow me to say something now. I, I've listened to y'all, and, and now I need y'all to listen to me. Isn't it amazing sometimes that people will do that to you? Amen. You'll listen to them, and, 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 and then when it comes time for you to say something, amen, uh, they want to hang up the phone. When it comes time for you to, uh, to go, uh, the, uh, the, battery, uh, the, the phone doesn't run out of, of battery. Amen. Uh, when, when it comes time for you to talk, amen, uh, they got to go. Uh, somebody's calling them. Amen. But, 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 but every once in a while, we need to make sure, amen, that we can voice our concerns and that our, amen, uh, our uh, uh, prayers and, 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 and voice our position. Uh, voice our viewpoint and and that's why voting is so important that's why being involved is so important and if you can't make things better sometime unless you get involved amen good morning miss red firm miss sandra blanton miss chavette gary good morning amen georgia lindo amen and mary mcgill and miss virgil posey what's up cause lula watch daddy all right there together two sisters that's what i'm talking about hope y'all having a good day Amen and amen again and amen again. Janine on the scene. Good morning. Now, as we look at this, I want you to know, amen, that this is very important because Job said, I want to say something. Amen. Sometime, amen, you got to raise your hand. Huh? And sometime when you're not sure, you wave your hand. Sometime, amen, you remember that, 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 that deodorant commercial uh, with sure deodorant. That said, raise your hand, raise your hand if you're sure, huh? <laughs> if you if you're sure, you got you 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 sure. But but God is not like that. God says, uh, whenever you want to talk to me, just ask me. When you want to talk to me, seek. When you when you when you want me to answer, you you knock at the door. Amen. But when God knocks at the door, you have to open. Sometimes God knocks at our heart and he wants in. He wants us in to let him in so he can help us. To help us grieve. To help us mourn. To help us through these trying times. And, and But you got to let him in. Good morning, Chris. Adam, my friend and brother. Glad to have you with us, man. Janine Davidson. God bless you. Kimberly Crosby Leach. Good morning. Ricky Kemp. Good morning to you. Amen. And he said that because he cares. And now notice with that last part of, of, of Job 21 verse 3. We're going to look into this. Because it said something very important here. He said, now after I spoken, mock on. In other words, he's saying, you, you're making fun of me. You're laughing at me. Amen. You, 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 you're picking fun. Good morning, Brother Randy Phillips. Good morning. Amen. Glad to have you all on the bus. He said, uh, y'all laughing at me. But 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 I'm gonna tell you uh, what what I feel. And, and 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 have you ever had somebody laugh at you? Amen. If you have, you just 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 coming on the screen. Amen. Yep. I, yep. Yep. I had that happen before. That's all you got to put out there. You don't have to tell us what it's about. But people laugh at us. Amen. Just because of who we are. Because how God made us. Amen. Of our pigmentation. They laugh at us. They laugh at us because of our education. Amen. Some have a little more than others. Amen. But that's okay. Amen. God bless you with a brain, with a mind, and you are somebody. I come in the name of Jesus today to encourage you, to let you know that their laughing will be turned to, 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 to mourning. Amen. And that our mourning will be turned to laughter. Amen. That, that God has a, a unique system. Amen. Where people poke fun of us and, and laugh at us and ridicule us and, 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 and make jokes and say all the things about us, especially how we worship. Don't you know we worship and you know sometimes we get in the spirit, things happen and, and folk laugh at us. But that's okay. It's all right. Because the Bible talks about the foolishness of preaching to them who are not saved. It seems foolish. But for us who are believers, we have to have it. Huh? <laughs> That's right. Amen. For thus, us who, who, who understand the, the words and the music and the melody and, and look beyond the melody and find the message in, 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 in the composition, uh, uh, the composition of all of those musical, amen, intangibles that make the soul happy, we get laughed at. But it's okay. I want you to know it's all right. 
It's all right, Barbara Peeler. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right when they laugh at you. Can somebody put that on the screen? It's all right if they laugh at you. Hey Amen. It's all right. <laughs> I'll get used to that. I want you to know they laughed at Jesus. <laughs> if they laughed at Jesus, oh Lord, I want you to know they will laugh at us. So, so, so don't let those things bother you. Now, the next thing I want to talk about this about laughter was that uh, 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 there's a difference between laughing at someone and laughing with someone. Good Lord Almighty. I need somebody to put that on the screen. I think I'm going to say that again. I said, and I need somebody to join me and put this on the screen. There's a difference between laughing at someone and laughing with someone. Huh? When I'm laughing with you, we, we both are, are, are getting a chuckle. We both getting a little grin. We both getting a smile. We, we both having a happy moment about something. Hey Amen. You may have uh, even tripped and fell, but you didn't get hurt. You, you're both laughing at, with each other. But, but when you're laughing at somebody, good Lord Almighty, huh? that, that, that's not good. That, 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 that changes laughter almost into a, a, a instead of it being a, a something Kind and fun and, and fancy free and happy when you're laughing at someone, uh, it begins to change. Huh? You, uh, have you ever seen the cartoons and, and you hear the evil villain? His laughter is not like a uh, 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 Mickey Mouse or one of the other cartoon characters. They're just happy to, and, and just laughing and, 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 and just happy to be laughing, but he has a, a, a horrible laugh. Y'all uh, remember that Michael Jackson thrill at the end, that laugh? Uh, talking about killing you and stuff and all that. <laughs> you, you're, that, that no, no, no. That's a different kind of laugh than laughing at you instead of laughing with you. Good Lord Almighty. Amen. We got to move on. Somebody having a good time already. The bus, amen, is getting ready to move. Y'all need y'all to sit down. Because in this verse, I want you to know, amen, that this is so important. Because, amen, on this journey, people will sometimes that don't understand us will laugh at us. Amen. The bus getting ready to move. I need you to meet me. Amen. I, I, right here, I'm getting ready. We're getting ready to move the bus. We're getting ready to move the bus here. Bear with me. We're moving. Job, excuse me, Psalm 30, verse 11. I need y'all to meet me over there. Psalm 30. Verse 11. We're moving. We're moving. Thank you. Psalm 30, verse 11. Amen. I need everybody there. If you have your Bibles out, God bless you. And I want to thank our technicians today, Miss Keisha. Amen. Uh, thank y'all so very much. Javonda. Oh, we're glad to have you with us today. Amen, amen, and amen, and amen. Yes, there is a difference. Amen. Uh, Psalm 30, verse 11. Come on. I need everybody to leave. I need about 10 more people to push that share arrow down there. We got to get this gospel out to our neighbors and friends. Just the past two days, I mean, I've gotten calls from family members and friends. Folk are leaving here. And, and they're not old. Some of them not old either. Amen. We have to get this gospel out. Now it's a needed time. Good Lord Almighty. I, I, that, that's a song right there. We're going to pause right there for this song. Hey Amen. I need y'all to know this song to sing with me. What's up, Earl? In Little Rock, Arkansas. God bless you, man. Pray all is well with you, man, on your great, great uh, uh, blessing, man, that God has placed in your life, man. I hope everything goes well for you. Hey Amen. Come on. It's a needed time. 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 Oh, yes, it is. It's a needed time. I said, mothers, mothers, tell your daughters. I said, fathers, fathers, tell your sons. Ooh, you better, you better get right. It's a needed 
time. It's a needed time. I can't sing it like Brother Ross, the Ross, James Ross. But because you don't know, you don't know what tomorrow might bring. See, we don't know that. So that's why we, we have to get this gospel out there to our neighbors and friends. Good morning, Miss Pernice. Glad to have you with us this morning. Amen. Miss Ethel Scott is on the spot. Thank you so much for joining us. Amen and amen and amen again. Amen. Psalm 30 verse 11. Come on. I need to hear your voice. Oh, goodness, I can't, but I wish I could. I need you to read out loud as you can. Come on, Terry Wright. I need about 10 people to push that share arrow down at the bottom of your screen. That's all you got to do to become an electronic evangelist. Come on. Psalm 30, verse 11. Everybody. Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. Huh? See, that's what God can do. And thou hast put off my sackcloth. And girded me with gladness. See, that's what God will do. When, 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 when the world laughs at us, God will, will turn our mourning into dancing. And that's why sometimes it might take a little time. Sometimes it may take you a week or two. Sometimes it may take you a couple of days. Sometimes it might take you a couple of months. Sometimes it might take you a couple of years. But however long it takes, amen, however long it takes, amen, we got to make sure that we make the adjustments. Amen. So that we can, amen, get it right with God. Huh? So that our, it can, God can turn it around. I need somebody to put that out there. God can turn it around. God can turn it around. But, 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 but God has to turn it. You, you can't turn it yourself. Huh? <laughs> huh? It, 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 it's like uh, uh, the earth. God turns the earth in his own unique way. Amen. That, that's why people spin a basketball. And when they spin a basketball on their finger, amen, uh, it, it, it's a symbol of God's, uh, has the whole world in his hand. God can turn it around. It's, 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 it's like you're going and, and you are uh, 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 at your favorite, amen, you got your favorite uh, food on a rotisserie, whether it's an ear of corn or whatever it is, amen, it's a, it, it's a ham, amen, or you have... A man, a whole a pig, or whatever it is, a whole cow, whatever it is you're cooking, you 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 you're rotating it around a whole chicken. It, it, it's rotisserie. It, God will turn it around when when things get right. God will turn it your in your favor. Amen. It's gonna work in your favor. God's gonna turn it around, huh? And around, and around. God's gonna turn it around. So don't worry. Don't worry, but in the midst of it all, you can't let them laughing at you get you off track. You got to stay focused. Huh? You got to stay focused. Amen. The bus getting ready to move again. I need you to turn with me. Amen. Over to Jeremiah 31, verse 13. Amen. I do believe that's where we headed. Jeremiah. Amen. 31, verse 13. Come on. We're getting ready to move over there. Meet me over there. I need y'all sit down. Jeremiah 31, verse 13. But we laugh, we, we, we're talking about this because they were laughing at Job. His friends, amen, not would only, only give them their peace of mind, but they were laughing at him, picking fun at him. Amen. Sometime, again, as a believer in God, we get picked at sometimes. Oh, I see y'all out there. God will turn it around. I see you. I see you. I see you out there. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Man. Man, y'all are on it, man. Goodness. Wow. Rosa Allen, good morning to you. All of you out there are commenting. That's what makes this Bible study unique and, spe and special. Thank you for being a part of this Bible study bus. Amen. Jeremiah 31 verse 13. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, my brothers and sisters. Amen. We're going to study this Bible together. 31 and 13. I need everybody there. Amen. Let's read it together. Ready? And let's read. It says, Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy. 
and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. Yep. One of the strengths that I found in the world, especially with grieving people, amen, especially with church, when you go through death, when you go through sorrow, when you go through disappointment, when you go through setback, when you go through letdowns, when you go through uh, tragedies, when you go through accidents, when you go through incidents. And has there anybody ever went through any of those things? If you ever went through any of those things, say, I have. Amen. Now just put on that, I have. If, if, if you don't mind, if you're not ashamed. Because sometimes strength comes when you begin to testify. Strength comes when you begin to uh, state your position. Uh, uh, miracles take place when you recognize where you are and whose you are. Good God. Oh, man. I know this is Bible study, but any time the Bible is, is, is studied or talked about, it, 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 it's motivation. Because the word has power. The word has strength. The word can enlighten you. The word can empower you. The word can show you. The word can be a lamp to your feet. A light to your path. Your word, God, have I heard. That I might not sin against thee. Yeah? And, and when you go through these type of things, amen, please understand that in the midst of your sorrow, that's where you have to find your praise. Good God. I hope this is helping somebody today. Amen. This, uh, the power comes from uh, within your awkward position. While you are there, while you are crying, while you are grieving, while you are hurting, while you are in pain, while they're laughing at you in the midst of that condition, diamonds are made with pressure. <laughs> Amen. There you have to find your worship. And that's why, amen, uh, you got to, that's why, and, and I found out, that's why you got to find your song and your praise. And, and that's what uh, we try to do in the midst of a homegoing service is, uh, yes, it's sad. But by the end of it, the gospel should be preached and songs should be sang that should strengthen and encourage that family to get up out of that seat and praise God anyhow. Huh? Because it could have been worse. They couldn't have lived to make it uh, to 75. They, 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 they couldn't have made them live. To, could have died a long time ago. They made it to 55. They could have died a long time ago. The doctor said they wasn't going to make it, but they made it to the age of 45. Yeah, we don't know, but, but you got to find a way to praise him in the midst of it all. Huh? Can, can I get somebody, anybody, somebody to put out there, you got to find a way to praise him. You got to find a way. You got to find a way. Huh? You got to get there. Now this verse is so important because it said, in the midst of it all, he's going to turn their mourning into joy. This is the, the young and the old, and the, the young and the old, the women, the men, everybody. Amen. And, 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 and this will help comfort you. Huh? That, that's why the musicians are requested at the service. Huh? Uh, that's why I, just not anybody going to sing, but uh, the, the family have called somebody and want them to come and sing. Huh? <laughs> because those are the things that give them. They just didn't call anybody. Those are the, uh, are the people they want there to participate. To help them gain their faith. And, and sometimes everybody not able to make it. Because other things happen. There's schedules. There's, there, there, there's appointments. Amen. There's disappointments. There's uh, obligations. Amen. There's previous arrangements have been made. And cannot be canceled. But all I'm trying to tell you is. When the singers get together. When the prayers get together. How are we going to enjoy one another? And you got to understand. Just don't look at me. Praise God. Praise God with me. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> that, 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 see, that's where a lot of people miss their strengthening point. You, 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 you in the right place, but you're not praising. You just looking around. You in the right place, but you're not clapping. You just looking around. You in the right place, but you're not worshiping. You just looking around. And you in the right place, but you, but, but you don't feel. You, you in the right place, but you got to worship while you're there. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you got, you got to get your praise on. I need about 10 people to put out there. And you got to get your praise on. 
Amen. Yeah, you can praise him at home, but it's nothing like praising him in that church with some more folk that love the Lord. There's something about unity prayer. Yeah, you can praise him at home, but now COVID is over. Amen. You go to the grocery store, you go down to the Walmart, you go everywhere else. You can come to church for an hour and 15 minutes. Come on! And let's praise the Lord together. Yeah? <laughs> so he can comfort us. When I see you worship, I get excited. When you see me worship, it might make you excited. Can I get a witness? I get a thrill out of seeing a man. People worship God and knowing they love God. It, it makes me happy. It makes me want to say something. It makes me want to shout for joy. It makes me want to say hallelujah. And maybe you have that anointing on you that you can encourage somebody else to come out of their shyness, to come out of that as being ashamed. Don't you understand that they're going to laugh at you in? Anyway, <laughs> huh? so so if they laugh, uh, 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 let it be because you love the law, huh? You 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 you, you got to get to that point. When you get to that point, good Lord, uh, you are moving in a spiritual growth uh, pattern. You you you're moving in a growth pattern. Tell somebody you're in a growth pattern. You 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 you're in a growth pattern. You 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 well, you got to come out of that shyness. It, it, it's just like eating candy with the paper on it. Huh? <laughs> Y'all don't remember them days, do you? Huh? You know, had about, uh, you know, got your five or six pieces of candy. Amen. And, and some of y'all might not admit this, but, 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 but some of you might. And if you don't mind, amen, we're going we gonna to laugh with each other. <laughs> we're not going to laugh at each other. We're going to laugh with each other. Amen. And you done had your candy in your pocket all day. You've been running. And now you've, you remembered you got it in there. But it's, it's done got kind of a little wet. And, and it's done uh, the paper that just so stuck to it. Now now you, you can't even separate the plastic from the paper. And, and, and you just put the whole thing in your mouth. Uh, there ain't, ain't nobody done that out there, had it? Huh? Don't no no don't kid me now. I I know I know I'm not the only one. Huh? It was stuck to it. It was it was it was just it was, it was, you, you couldn't separate it, but you wanted that that, that candy. Huh? You you could still taste it through the paper, but 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 it ain't the same with the paper off of it. And that's how it is when you worship God. When when you open up and, and take off that shell and take off that. That 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 uh, ashamedness and and being shy. When you take all of that off, you can really really get the flavor of God's worship. You can really get the flavor, and you can get the nutrients of the worship. Amen. Once you uh, take off uh, off that thing, and and that's why in the Bible it symbolized they rent their mantles. Amen. They wanted to get to God. They didn't want nothing to separate them from the love of God. And when you get to that point in your spiritual growth, Amen. You will understand, Amen, that uh, to get more flavor, I, I got to take it off to get to get the full nutritional from this spiritual uh, experience. I, I need to take it off. I need to take off down my pride. I need to take down, Amen. This being ashamed of God. I need to take down, Amen. That I I, I don't have. You don't have to wear nothing new uh, every Sunday, honey. All you got to do do is, is come in with a new uh, uh, attitude and, and with a new desire to grow and to expect God to move in a new information and a new verse. Amen. And looking at it at a new way. That's all you got to have. God would do all the work that needs to be done. I need about 10 people to press that share arrow right now in the name of Jesus because I understand. Uh, thank you, Miss Cumberlander, for joining us. Amen. And now, oh, yes, I like that one. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. But you, we have to do our parts. So again, please know when you love God, they'll laugh at us. But if God's going to turn it around. huh? Did y'all hear me? I said God's going to turn it around. If we don't turn it around, that, 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 that's job, God. That, that, that's God's job. If they laugh at us, amen, that, that's all right. I learned something from the cheerleaders a long time ago. I see some of my old teammates on here and everything. And, and, and that's one thing. I used to try to pay attention, especially when things weren't doing so good. And I remember when we, our team would fumble or we'd, we'd make a mistake and, and, and uh, we'd uh, throw an interception or whatever it was would happen. And then the cheerleaders on our side, uh, from, from West Junior High to, to the ninth grade cheerleaders to uh, JV in the high school and then even college cheerleaders, amen, and even many of you, family and friends that cheer. But I remember one cheer that always used to get my ear and make me think, amen. And they used to say, 
that's all right. That's okay. We going to beat you anyway. Good Lord Almighty. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever remember that. Huh? I don't know how they used to clap and stance. And, and I, I, I miss Miss Crumwell, uh, Miss Nala, and all those cheerleaders out there. And I, I, I'm, I'm not a cheerleader. But, but, I, but, I, but I do understand that uh, all of my life people have been cheering for me. And, and, and I'm coming to talk to you right now. I'm cheering for you. And I hope you're cheering for somebody else. You have to cheer somebody else on in this game of life. You just can't want you to win. You just can't want your child to win. You got to want every child to win. You got to want every believer to win. You got to want every child of God to win. You got to want the rich to win. You want the poor to win. I want everybody in between to win. Can anybody out there understand? We got to want everybody to get their blessing. Huh? But I remember. Amen. They used to cheer that thing. They used to say, that's all right. That's okay. We going to beat you anyway. Mm. Mm. Huh? Y'all remember that? So that's how you have to be in your life. When, when all of this come up against Job, when they laugh at him and they talk about him, you got to encourage yourself. And you got to learn how to say this thing to yourself and say, that's all right. That's okay. We going to beat you anyway. Good Lord of mine. I wonder if Jesus was on the cross. I don't know say, that we got the seven sins, but maybe in his mind he was thinking, that's all right. That's okay. We going to beat you anyway. You, please know that there's victory. In what you believe and how you believe it, and the effort you put forth to achieve. You got you just can't make A's because you took the book home. You just can't make A's because you laid the book on the table. You just can't make A's because you, amen, slept beside the book. But no, you got to open the book and, and pray and ask God, touch my mind so I can remember this stuff for my test. And God, you can tip, help me to be my best. Good Lord, that's all right. That's okay. Huh? <laughs> We're going to beat you. Come on. I need somebody to understand that's how it works. Amen. I'm cheering for you. Hey man, all my former classmates out there and team, I'm cheering, I'm still cheering. We're still on the team together. And the best team is God's team. Jane Brown, glad to have you with us, sir. God bless you. Man, I, man, I get excited when I think about God. Huh? I get excited. Paul, glad to have you with us, Paul. My friend, Paul. Man, I'm excited. Isn't that something? So don't worry about what they do. Don't worry about that because now we're going to look at something to show us, amen, about God. Amen. That, that God will, 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 will have the last laugh. Amen. Bear with me one second before we move the bus. Amen. How, about, how many out there enjoying this this morning? Huh? We're talking about going through periods where people laugh at us. Through times when we misunderstood and uh, we're ridiculed and persecuted. For righteousness sake. Amen. I want you to know they'll do that to you. Amen. It's a part of. Amen. Being a believer. Amen. Amen. I, I, it's a part of it. Amen. I need you to turn with me to James chapter 4. James, the book of James, near the back of the Bible. You'll find the book of James. Y'all sit down, we're moving. I need you to move with me. The James, chapter 4. Thank y'all for sharing this. Rebecca Davis, good morning. Oh, man. God is good. Minister Graham, good morning. All of y'all, I may have missed some of you. I love you. If I miss you, please forgive me. Because this screen moves so fast sometimes. Sometimes it moves so quickly. But we're so glad to have you with us. James chapter 4. I need you to look at me. Verse 9. Tamika, you with me? All right. Come on, everybody. I need everybody reading right there. James chapter 4, verse 9. Come on, everybody. Be afflicted and mourn and weep and let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Amen. Sometime we're up, sometime we're down. Huh? 
I've been up and I've been down. I've been up and I've been down. I've been up and I've been down in this home. <laughs> That's how it is when you're serving the Lord. Sometimes you have some good days and sometimes you have some bad days. I've been up and I've been down. I've been up and I've been down. I've been up and I've been down. In this um, um, <laughs> Somebody out there know what I'm talking about. Hmm? Sometimes they'll laugh at you and talk about you, call you everything but a child of God. And, and, and that's what I love about them old songs. Them, them, them old simple songs take care of everything. Oh, I've been up and I, I've been down. Huh? I've been up and I see you, Tamika. I've been down. I've been up and I've been down in this home. And that's the way it's going to be. Good morning, Reverend Williams from Birmingham. God bless you. Angela Double A coming in, my friend, classmate. God bless you. I love you so much. God bless you. Amen and amen. God is good. Here we go. Let's look at this James 4 and verse 9. He said he's going to turn your mourning to, in weeping and your laughter is returned to mourning. It, it, it takes some crying and some sorrow sometimes. And sometimes it takes both of them. Sometimes it takes salt and pepper. Huh? <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. Sometimes it takes sweet and sour. Mm. Salt and pepper in here. Salt, 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 salt and pepper in here. Sometimes it takes a combination. Huh? <laughs> it takes good days and bad days, but don't complain. Huh? I, I, I want you to look briefly at verse 11, 10, and, and we can we can ready to get out of here. Man, time flies when you're having fun, don't it? Man, we, this is some serious lesson today. I hope this is a blessing to you because it's strength. And, 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 and what we're going through. Amen. It's a humble yourselves in the mighty, in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. And he shall lift you up. Humble yourselves. He'll lift you up. Amen. Humble yourself. He'll lift you up. Amen. That means uh, 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 be, be low key. Amen. Don't, don't be braggadocious. Just, just, just be humble. Just be humble. Be, be, be humble. That's a, a, a R&B song come out a year or two ago. Talked about be humble. Miss Lily Crosby, thank you for joining us. Be humble. Amen. For all of you who are watching. Amen. I, that's one of the keys. If you want God to lift you up. Amen. A lot of people like to go through life making a lot of splash. Uh, a brag. You know. It, it's good to, to be thankful for what you have. And, and, be, and, be, and, be, be, and be proud of what you have. Amen. But I learned something about the diving competition, the diving competition, the diving competition. They they dive from from low platforms. They go up higher, the higher the, the platforms. The higher you are, uh, the, the the if you don't dive correctly, uh, it'll be a, a, a more of a a big splash. And I found out in the diving competition, Amen. And and, and I prayed, my brothers and sisters, this will inspire you. To humble yourself and to get high scores. The one that has the biggest splash or the worst splash, they get the worst scores from uh, the uh, professional judges who watch them. Of course, judge not no man, but God judges us all. Amen. But to me, spiritually, when we dive into Jesus, when we dive into the Bible, amen, when we dive into serving God, amen, just try to go in Amen. Without a lot of splash, uh, I found out in the, in 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 the, in the, in the uh, world of diving, the less splash, and and the one that execute that dive, 
gets the highest scores. I believe God is the same way. When we do what God would have us to do, your dive, not anybody else's dive. I'm, I'm not talking about the triple Lindy or nothing like that. I mean, some of y'all may know that movie right there. But, but, but whatever your dive is, you dive it. Whatever your song is, you sing it. Whatever your prayer is, you pray it. Whatever it is, you, your, your, your job is, you usher. Whatever your job is, you do that well. And that's what God is going gonna, is gonna to be pleased with if we do our best for him. Don't worry about trying to impress people. I impress God. The less splash gets the best score. Amen. The more humble you are, the more God can lift you up. Amen. Let, 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 let God do the lifting. Can somebody put that out there on the screen? Let God do the lifting. Amen. I found that out a long time ago. Let, 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 let God do the lifting. Amen. God bless you. We're moving on. We got to get out of here. Man, it's already 12, 16. Man. Man. I, is, my, is, is your watch going fast? Is that right at the right time? Man. Man, time is flying around here when you're having fun. All right. We're going to move one more time. And we're going to look at this. I told you that uh, Psalm, that God will take care of them. God will take care of them who laugh at us. Amen. Please know that my brothers and sisters. God will take care of them. I'm trying to make sure I got the right verse here. Man. We're having a good time. Seven. Yep. Come on. Move with me. Psalm 37. Verse 13. We're moving here. Yep, y'all got it going on out there. Man, y'all are awesome. Well, uh, Miss T. Cora. Oh, man, we have a wonderful group today. All of you are so wonderful. Amen. Our next verse today, I pray, my brothers and sisters, this will give you strength when folk laugh at you. Man, we, we got so much to look at <laughs> here. So Job was going through all these different emotions, crying because his children and his stuff and, and his health, and then uh, listening to his friends and talking, and then they laughing at him. He was up and down. He was up and down. He was up and down. Mixed emotions. But thank God for Psalm 37, verse 13. Psalm 37, verse 13. God bless you. Amen. We're having a wonderful time in here today. And may God bless you in each and every way. Amen and amen again. Huh? God is worthy of all the praise. Here we go. I need you here at Psalm 37 verse 13. Everybody, every male, every boy, every girl. Come on. Every female. Come on. Everybody reading right here. Psalm 37 13. The Lord shall laugh at him. For he seeth that his day is coming. Amen. Who will the Lord laugh at? Amen. If you will, go back to verse 12. In Dan verse 12 it says, The wicked plotted against the just and gnashed upon him with his teeth. So those who are wicked, who, who plot against us and laugh at us and poke fun of us, don't worry about it. God will take care of them. Amen. I, I come to tell you, uh, you step out of the way and let God handle it. <laughs> huh? Can I get about 10 people to put that on the screen? Huh? Let God uh, take care of that situation. Uh, that's what I need you to put on the screen. Let God take care of that situation. I put it in the Lord's hands. If you want the Lord to fix it, you got to put it in. His hand. Hey, I'm not Deacon Jane McGill or the Gospel Choir, but they sang that song. If you want the Lord to fix it for you, you have to put it in His hand. <laughs> if you want the Lord to fix it for you, you have to put it in His hand. Yeah. And take it to the Lord in prayer. Huh? Put it in his hand and take it to the Lord in prayer. That's all you got to do. Huh? And leave it there. 
Let God be God. You get out the way. <laughs> you be you. Let God be God and get out of his way. Amen. We're about to get out of here. We got about one more verse or two we're going to look at. Amen. And then we're going to get out of here. We're going to move this bus one more time. We're going to move the bus one more time. I need you to sit in your seats, please. The bus is getting ready to move again. Psalm 2. You meet me. We're moving to Psalm 2. Verse 4. Man, we've had a good Bible study in here today. Wow. Thank you all for sharing it. Thank you all for what you're doing. Bruce Young, thank you for joining us. And if you own the Bible study bus, and, and uh, uh, again, Ethel, we thank God for you for being with us. And if you, if you come in, I can see your name. I can't see the screen that you all see, but I have a different screen before me. But I would love to see your name. If you could come in and just say praise the Lord or thank you, Jesus, or something. Amen. Uh, we know you're on the bus. Huh? Thank you so very much. Come on, Psalm 2, uh, verse 4. Now notice what this says. And I hope you get strength, strength from this because God knows. Amen. He that sitteth, come on, read it with me. Everybody, read and read. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Yes, God sits high and looks low. God sits in the heaven. That, that, that's God's domain. God is everywhere. Every, everywhere. Everything belongs to him. God is omnipresent. He's everywhere at one time. Praise the Lord. Now as we look at this particular scripture. Amen. It said he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. So God knows what's going on. Amen. He knows. Amen. And that's why I want you to be encouraged for those who pick fun at you and make fun of your family. Make fun of your job and and, and all of the, the, the don't, don't don't worry about that. God will take care of them. Huh? Uh, please know that. Virginia Lindsay, good morning to you. Minister Lindsay, glad to have you with us. God will take care of each of us. Amen. Now, I want to talk about that because, amen. And that's what it means that uh, uh, they have derision. Amen. The Lord shall have them in derision. In other words, when they laugh at us, uh, God's going to get them tangled up in their own mess. Amen. God will get them tangled up in what they're laughing about. A lot of the time they'll end up the same thing they're laughing about, laughing at, will happen to them. So God will get them. Don't, don't worry about that. Let God handle it. God bless you. Boy, we had a wonderful Bible study today. I want to thank each of you for joining us. Oh, man, if we talked about this, uh, his friends also laughed at Job. Huh? A lot of times people don't know that about Job's friends. A lot of people just uh, I pray that we are, uh, are able to share with you new things about this book of Job. Amen. And most times people just know Job went through a lot. And they just know Job had patience. But, but it's more to the story than just those two things. And I pray that we have seen something uh, that we can learn some lessons of life. Amen. If we have learned lessons about friendships and about God and about grieving, about a whole a lot of different things. We hope we've been able to share with you uh, through this study in the book of Job. And yes, my brothers and sisters, there's so much going on. Oh, man. Uh, God bless you, Brother Randy. Yes, sir. Let the Lord have his way. Amen. Yep, yep, yep. He will do it. And I want to encourage each of you, amen, to, to keep the faith. Amen. To understand that uh, sometimes it, it, it's going to be difficult. Amen. But you got to keep the faith. Sometimes it's going to be less difficult. But that's the time you need to keep the faith and build up for the times when it's going to be less difficult. Amen. Amen. In the summer is where you can your goods. In the summer is where you uh, uh, chop your timber. In, 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 the, in the summer, amen, is when you uh, 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 Stop, amen, the cabinet, because in the winter, amen, when, when, when the weather change and when uh, harsh times come, amen, I pray that you already put something back. The Bible talks about the ant who works and it talks about the one who is lazy, who does nothing, amen. While it's harvest time, let's, let's harvest and store. Harvest and store these gospel 
Harvest and store these messages. Harvest and store, amen, these thoughts and uh, these precepts and concepts of God. So that in the time of life when we need them, they'll be in our memory bank. They'll be in our heart that we may not sin against God. My brothers and sisters, I'm so excited about what God is doing in your life. Amen. I thank you so very much. Keep the faith. All of the people that you impact. Janice Petty, glad to have you with us. God bless the Petty family. Amen. And may God bless your family, each and every family that's under the sound of my voice. I want you to know that somebody is counting on your faith to help them make it over the hill. Amen. Will you have that faith when they look for it in you? That's why it's so important for us to grow ourselves so you never know who admires you. You never know who's looking to you for good instruction. But we pray, my brothers and sisters, that you will go out there and uh, uh, depart to serve. To help somebody make somebody's life better. Amen. Vincent Foster, we're praying for you. Miss Netta Foster, we're praying for you. God bless you both. Uh, Deacon S. Dawkins and the entire Dawkins family, we're praying for you. Uh, James and Nellie Wilkerson, we're praying for you. Sidney Byers, my brother, we're praying for you. Amen. Mr. Willie Sims, amen. Uh, we're praying for you. Amen. Adam Dillard, Trustee Dillard. Amen. God bless you. And your family, Miss Sandy, the inter we're praying for you. Amen. Denisha Bates, the Bates family, we're praying for you. Charles Oglesby, we're praying for you. For the Hardy family, Pearl Rice in Union, we're praying for you. The Reverend Freddie Davidson, my friend and brother, the Ebenezer Baptist Church, we're praying for you. Amen. The Dr. A.L. Brackett, we're praying for you. Amen. Uh, Betty Jean who he had a knee replacement. All doing well. Scheduled to come home today. We're praying for you. Amen. Uh, Connie Smith. Amen. We're praying for you. Having surgery Friday out there in Texas. We, God uh, can answer prayers in Texas. Nancy Knuckles, who's home from the hospital. We're praying for you. Amen. To, uh, again, Brother Charles Littlejohn. All the way in Maryland, hospitalized. We love you, brother. Sharon's husband. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, Mr. Shine's brother. Amen. We're praying much for you. God bless you, man. And also to, amen, uh, uh, to uh, the McDowell family. On yesterday in Gaffney, brother Quentin Eugene McDowell, amen, was killed. Amen. Uh, there, amen. Uh, uh, the uh, case is under investigation. Amen. We're praying for the McDowell uh, Early family. He's a nephew of Deacon and Reverend Angelia Early. We're praying for you and we're praying for whoever did it. Amen. That God can touch their heart. Amen. And, and save. And if they are saved, that God can forgive. Amen. To the, the, the Bridges family, my friend, my little cousin, uh, Alex Bridges. Amen. His wife, Miss Yvette Lindsay Bridges, went home to be with the Lord. Amen. Uh, we're praying much for them and during their time of sorrow. Amen. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Amen. Uh, we have received information. Mr. Furman Smith, amen, of Gaffney, went home to be with the Lord. We're praying for the Smith family. Amen. Again, we continue praying for the Norris family. And last week, Miss Willie Mae Norris, homegrown, was held at the Maple Spring Baptist Church. We're praying for the Norris and Leach family. And also on yesterday, Mr. Frank J.J. Ross. Amen. Uh, 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 a member of the Ross family. Amen. And uh, I think he also related to the Huey family. Went home to be with the Lord. Uh, again, we're sorry uh, we were not able to attend those services. But please know family and tell uh, his wife and, and his daughter. Amen. That we are much praying for uh, the Ross family. And also, amen. Uh, my friend and brother, amen, Brother Bernard Petty, amen, his son, Brother Shemiah, amen, Fonse, uh, Bernard Petty, 32 years old, amen, uh, went home to be with the Lord. Um, his death is on investigation there in Georgia, amen, and again, uh, services uh, are tentative for Saturday uh, here in Gaffney, South Carolina. So to uh, Brother Bernard, to Lisa Petty, to the entire Petty, to Janice, to Mamie, to all of you, Please know that Pastor Bridges, the Bridges family, Concord family, and uh, many in Gaffney and surrounding areas and the world loves you. And we are praying much for each of you. Thank you for the prayers of the righteous avail much. Come on, let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, thank you again for your grace and mercy. Please remember us all, God, as we go through grieving moments. God, is still my family, the Simon Bridges family, the Bridges family, the Petty family. 
the McDowell family, the Norris family, the Smith family, the Ross family, God, there's families that I don't even know about. Right now, oh God is going through grief and sorrow, but we read in your word even today that their mourning will be turned to laughter. I pray, oh God, that you would send a friend by to put a smile on their face, that you would send a text or a call from a loved one or a concerned individual to allow them to know they're not alone. Thank you, God, for friends. Thank you for prayer. God, we pray right now and thank you for this political season. God, the preliminaries are being taken uh, and, and uh, all over this world. Thank you for voting. Thank you for those who vote. God, some may not have voted yesterday, but they still vote. Allow us to get out the next time, to get out there, to voice our opinion, to, to, to help select our leader. God, we know that the world is in your hand. Touch hearts, oh God, to get the right person in the right place so the right things can take place. Oh God, we think it not uh, uh, strange concerning how you move. We thank you for the ability to have freedom of choice. And God, we pray, God, that you would allow that leader to touch those hearts to help the people. God, about helping the people, making things better. Thank you for 23 years of pastoral ministry. Thank you, God, for the Concord Baptist Church, for all of our the preachers, uh, their spouses, to uh, my spouse, God, the family, uh, deacons, trustees, deaconess, God, every president, every member that makes up our church. We're excited about what you're doing. God, I pray that you'll keep us working together. Father, as I pray, and we prepare to close this prayer, oh God, we need you now. There's a heat wave going across the land. I pray, oh Father, that you will allow people to remember that there's a place harder than this. Oh Father, and if uh, uh, they are not saved, that's where they're going when this life is over. But God, they can avoid that, that, that hot vacation by believing that Jesus died and rose again. They can uh, uh, avoid that destination. And go to a heavenly place. Oh God where every day will be like Sunday. And the old preachers used to say every day like the month of May. Oh God a nice comfortable temperature there in heaven. God we pray that you'll forgive us of our sins and shortcomings. Allow us oh God to grow with you as we grow uh, with you. Thank you God didn't mean to pray a long prayer. But God there's some things on my heart. And I ask oh God that you will continue to search my heart. And God if you find anything that shouldn't be. That you will purify me and make me how you want me to be so we could be a better leader. We could be a better servant. We could be, God, a better voice for you. Thank you. God, I pray for good health and good wealth this week. Protect the children. Thank you for summer camp. I pray that all goes well. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let everybody say amen. Huh? Did you say amen? God bless you. I love you. Come on. Huh? I want you to know that. I want you to know I do. Yes, I do. I do. And I pray you have a good day. Amen. We're going to look for you Sunday. Amen. We've got a special Father's Day worship plan. Amen. Uh, come and worship with us. Bring your father to church. Father, bring your children to church. Amen. Bring your family to church. Amen. And we're going to have a Holy Ghost good time. If your father is already in glory, come on to church. Amen. Let's have a good time together. God bless you. I love you, my friend. We'll see you. Amen. Again at 10, my friend, in person at 915 Concord Road. And if you are not able to make it in person, we'll see you on Facebook Live. Amen. Uh, Concord Baptist Church, Gavin, South Carolina, where God is God and we are his people. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.